right, the ayes have it. The motion to make September 21st Bill Murray Day in Decatur passes. We will now begin our Citizens Forum and invite members of the community to take the podium. Order! Order! One at a time, please! You there, with the purple blouse. You go first. Thank you. Damn it! Are you kidding me? I knew I should have worn my purple blouse. Good evening, esteemed council members. My name is Priscilla Ortiz, I own a bakery near the downtown area, and I would like to request the removal of a fire hydrant from the lawn area in front of my property. You see, I've just finished redecorating my shop, both inside and out, and the fire hydrant simply does not fit anymore. Wait, now, Miss Ortiz, what do you mean the fire hydrant doesn't fit anymore? It clashes, sir. It simply does not fit the new motif that I've selected. It throws the whole thing way off, and I'd like it removed, please. Miss Ortiz, we cannot remove a fire hydrant near your property simply because it clashes with the design of your shop. Do you have any idea how much of the taxpayer's money that would cost? I'm sorry, miss, but we just can't do it. Can I at least have permission to paint it black, then? What? Why black? So it can blend in better with the other decorations. I'm going for a galaxy-type vibe with planets and stars and such. Miss, the whole point of a fire hydrant being bright red is for it to stand out. We can't let you repaint it. I'm sorry. Fine then! I'll just have to move my shop. Again! I don't think there's another decent building left near downtown that I can afford. I guess I'll just have to move my business to Mount Zion, then. We're very sorry to hear that. Next! Order, please! You, sir, in the ill-fitting suit. That was an unnecessary description, but okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Dillon, editor-in-chief of the Decatur Daily Herald Tribune. I'm here to speak out against what I believe to be a spiteful and violent slander campaign against our publication. Just this past weekend, someone spray-painted the words fake news and liberal snowflake garbage on one of the sides of the building and broke nearly every single window with a baseball bat. Whoever it was wore a very elaborate disguise, so you can't tell who it is in the security footage, but I have a strong hunch on who it is. Have you contacted the police department about all this? Yes, and they were of absolutely no help at all. In fact, the person I spoke to over the phone said we deserved it for our supposedly biased coverage of the gubernatorial campaign. Can you believe that? Mr. Dillon, what is it exactly that you want the city council to do about this? I... Uh, nothing, really. I, I just needed to vent to someone. Okay, then. We'll be moving on. Next, please. All right, third time. Seriously, people, conduct yourselves in a calm, respectful manner. Let's have you go next, sir. You, the one in the jean jacket, come forward. Hello, my name is Ben Jackson. I'm a full-time patriot, and I would publicly like to congratulate the Decatur Daily Herald Tribune for being Decatur's top provider of fake news in 2018. Ben Jackson, you son of a bitch! I knew it was you posting all those frickin' signs all over downtown! Can I speak, Mr. Dillon? I'll bet you're the one who vandalized our building, too! I ought to kick your ass right here and now! Oh, just because I disagree with you politically means I'm not allowed to speak? I can't exercise my First Amendment rights when it means you're gonna get offended? You typical liberal snowflake hypocrite. Okay, that's it. That's it. Come here, you. Can someone here, escort uh, these two out, please? Yes, get them out of here. Come on, you two. Break it up. Break it up. You stay the hell off our property, Jackson, and you shut up about our paper. Only when you stop publishing lies to advance your agenda. I swear to God, I'll kill you one of these days. Get them out of here. Come along, you two. A night at the precinct will calm you down. This I isn't fair! My right to speak. I'm not the criminal here. I'm gonna get Arrest myself him. a cheap lawyer. He's the you vandal. Heard I'm the last victim. Ben Jackson. Next, please. Hello, my name is Laverne Hodges. I would like to express my concern over a show that Pipe Dream Studio Theater is planning on producing titled Hand to God. If any of you are unfamiliar with that play, it's basically about a socially awkward teenage boy in Texas whose sock puppet gets possessed by the devil and begins to bring chaos and unrest in his life. Is the issue with the content of the play? Is there something in the show you consider objectionable or inappropriate? Heck no! I just want to make sure they don't hire some dumb hack college kid who doesn't know what the hell he's doing to make the puppets. Now, I happen to own and manage a puppetry troupe that makes its own puppets, and we could offer our services to them. Miss Hodges, 
pardon my interruption, but I think it would be more constructive if you went to Pipe Dreams and addressed your concern to them, not us. Duly noted. Thank you for your time. Did she just thank us? God, it's been so long since anyone's thanked me for anything. It feels weird hearing those words again. I know what you mean. Next person, please. Hello, my name is Gregory Perkins, and I'm an alcoholic. Sir- Don't you interrupt me! Sir, uh, sir, um, listen to me. Sir, this is not an AA meeting. That's tomorrow. Right now we're having a city council meeting. <laughs> really? Is that what this is? Is it really? Are you all just as afraid to admit that you have a problem? Oh, they have a problem, all right. They're puppets of the Clintons and the biased liberal media. Shut up! Shut up, you ignorant nutbag! I will set you and all of your loved ones on fire! Get those two out of here, now! And would someone kindly escort Mr. Perkins out of here and get some coffee in his system or something? I'm so sorry about this, everyone. I'm his daughter-in-law. I'll take care of him. Come on, Greg. Let's go home. Thank you very much, miss. Is that the last of them now? I do believe so. Good! Meeting adjourned. I we kind of long. Long. I want to go to LSB and drink you know, until you know, we can't you know, remember what city really this is anymore? Oh, oh hell yes. Come on, let's go. Really Everybody